Hey, how you guys doing? I'm joined today by oh, for this match, Ben, for the fourth match mm -hmm. by Copper Spatula. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling? You ready? Uh, I'm more than ready. As the best armchair general in this entire tournament, I'm ready to provide some good insight and commentary for today. Yeah, we do have the best, like, you know, win rate in, in this mm -hmm. tournament, or mm -hmm. the worst I, win I rate. <laughs> unbeated win rate, the <laughs> best, some would say. Yeah, the best at losing. Anyways, we're here on Sonnenblaum, and we have College on the Allies and Seamups on the Axis. What is, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, I'd imagine it's just going to be very basic opener from both of them. I can't imagine them really going for anything too crazy when they're in their fourth game. They're probably both equally tired. Very, very long current competition by this point. I'd imagine, if I were a betting man, that it's just going to be standard pair dropping, get into Tunisia, get into Malta. I'd be curious to see what you think college is going to do as a response to that, since that's like standard for most Axis players. Again, uh, we could just see that uh, he hasn't actually planned anything yet. I guess they're still setting up their industry, but uh, can college, does college have the micro skills to do the power dropping? I haven't seen him do it yet. That's I mean, the, that's what I'm a little nervous of. Uh. Realistically, uh, surely college has the ability to know that you can just put planes in Marsa Mutra and cover the zone. Yeah, he, he probably does, but I it's more if he has the clicks. Do you think Do you <laughs> think, do you think? think he is faster than Seamobs? I don't know. I think that's a very philosophical question. I don't know if college has that dog in him, if he can keep up with the experience veteran player like Seamops, who's been absolutely curb stomping the competition thus far. Very, very true, but uh, he does have the advantage that Seamops might be getting affected psychologically by losing a match right there. Could you, you think know? so? Yeah, I, think I think after that one? I think that you could you could tell that he was he was expecting to win that one. And you know, mm. I don't know if you noticed, but he actually lost Frankfurt in the very last moment by attacking out I of did, it. I, I saw it. That was very egregious. Yeah, that was, he, he threw that match. In the same breath, do you really think that in the match of who is quaking in their boots more, that college is quaking harder? That's I, really a question. I, I think he, I think he might actually have gotten a little bit of confidence now. Now that he got a win. You think so? Yeah, I, I believe that the the it, you could tell that he's shaking when he's sitting down <laughs> there. <you laughs> yeah, know. He's quaking in his he's boots. He's quaking in his boots. But right now you can tell. You look at him. Look at him. He's looking very calm. He's not blinking as much anymore. I, I think that this this could be his match, and we'll have to see if he can do the power dropping. If he does the power dropping perfectly and gets Malta, I think he's got it. You know what I think he's going to do, actually, since he's looking at the focuses right now? I have a good wager that he might actually go right side Soviets. I remember telling him about how on Libya, when you'd go VDVs and the railway artillery gun, it actually gives you basically everything you could need. You get motorized, you can get everything that you could possibly want for in this map. The only caveat to this is he has to make sure that he doesn't end up getting hoodwinked out of being able to pair drop onto Malta. I, I'm pretty sure, it, depending on if he plays, what, the Germans maybe? You don't have enough ships to actually be able to get supremacy on basically every matchup. I don't know. No, you have to either pick the. Uh, I, I'd say you have to pick the Italians or the Japanese. Otherwise, you will not get the supremacy. We've seen and then Italy. Yeah. I mean, you think that Seamops is going to go for Italy or Japan here? It, it it depends really, like because last time we saw this map being played between them, that was mine lane. Remember? Do you think College is going to utilize that as well? Because that would completely <laughs> stop the whole naval invasions of Malta. Whoever gets the mines down he, first. I don't know, because right now College is absolutely just staring at. Or, or is that are we? Are oh, we that's staring? us. I was looking okay, at so this we're for staring you. I was BDB. showing. I was showing you the VDD. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but I mean. Ah, have a look at what college is doing. It's, it's just so risky. I, I, I don't know. It, see, the thing is, is he's been so risk-averse thus far. I feel as if with the last two games in our recent memory, he was very risk-averse to changing his combat with. He was very risk-averse to being able to really go for those all-in plays. I think the Malta invasion on that second game is a really good example of it. You could back me up. He had divisions and ports that you mentioned. He could have been able to just continue it going. 100%, so. yeah. But a either way, we can see it's the usual same build-up. Both people, five factories on guns, yeah. five factories on convoys, and and then they're both setting up their industry. Seamus is setting up for transport planes. So that means he is not going the Germans, I would assume. Because if he's building transport planes, he would not go to the Germans, right? Uh, I mean, depending on the focus order that he chooses, he could elect to go for different focuses. And s Basically, he could go down Panzer Elite into the 10th Panzer. He could go from here and with, I believe, three focuses that you can do after setting up your industry. So a standard opener would be he goes for these three mil focuses. And then once he double backs over here... He has enough time to rush for supplies from the sky. But maybe if he's building transport planes, you think he might go for those Tigers first, rush it immediately, and just get motorized for free? Either that or he does an entirely different option, which would be the Italians or the Japanese. I mean, in the same breath, what would really be stopping him from just mining in uh, Malta at the start? If he sees that college goes the Soviets here on this path, it's going to be a little bit difficult for him to be able to respond if he doesn't get onto Malta first. 
Yeah, that, that's true. That's an entirely good point right there. And, and we won't get to see what they choose because that's the beauty of this. Everybody rushes the industry first. Depending on the map, obviously, on some of them, people want to get the industry, or not the industry, the XP or the uh, navies out so they can train them. But on this one, it looks like uh, we're just going to get the standard build up with industry. Hey, he did pick air and military. It's a normal opening so far. He's getting his counter espionage. College, meanwhile, is still doing standard opener from what we can see. He already got Timoshenko. He hasn't picked a second advisor. What is he doing? He has used his BP, though. What's it been used? Oh, no, he just got it. Okay. He just got it, yeah. Hmm. Let's have a look at what CMOPS is doing, though, on his side. See what is going on over there. Designing his plane, you know, the standard fighter, which we have seen in basically every match, except for when we designed a plane, because we designed something that apparently everyone else made something better than us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, impossible. Impossible. Uh, and he is producing the transport planes. I, uh, again, with the curse of the caster, I will say he is not going for the Germans. What paths don't actually give transport planes? Because I'm pretty sure there are two different country paths that you can go down that still give you transport planes. Yeah, there are plenty, uh, but we'll have to see. And uh, Ooh, Maybe he could go for the devious lick that is Italy. That's true. You think he's going to copy what College did in the last game where you get completely uncontested naval dominance and then you just continue to harass Malta the entire time? Well, you definitely can with those battleships you get from that. I just... Mm, I don't know. I feel as if that is very... Uh, very risky, I'll say like that, because you just get completely outscaled. If College just goes for the U.S., after like 30 minutes of combat, I really don't see a way that you can just stop them from 80% planning. 100%, and both of them are just busy designing their planes right now, putting more factories onto infantry equipment and artillery. Single one on planes there. Uh, CMOPs also, pretty much the same build order. It, it's, it's incredible how much alike they are with the build orders, how they've got yeah. it down to like a meta at that point. It definitely feels like the meta has sort of settled into a position where you're basically forced into doing very limited changes, aside from maybe changing the order of the political advisors you get, maybe taking one or two factories off for like what CMOPs is doing with transport planes or one factory for motorized. You kind of have to do the same thing. Otherwise, you fall so behind on the air war. You could go for very, <laughs> you go very bold strategies, but I don't know if that'll work out after maybe 15 minutes of gameplay. Yeah, I don't know who would do that. Yeah, <laughs> I, would, I would never resort I to such a tactic. I don't know who you're referencing. But again, uh, we are about to see the second uh, arms industry focus finish, and then we get that last one, and then we finally get to see if any of our predictions are correct on this one. Hmm. What's your prediction right now? Where do you think they're gonna go? I As hope. Now? Well, I, I, there's a difference between what I hope and predict, but I, I kind of want to hope and, and predict that college goes to Soviets. I want to see those uh, planes, uh, not planes, but Vertiver get utilized. Those armor trains mm -hmm. that will take more. They can take more damage. For the, the record, cast. it does give you 100 armor trains here. For anybody yeah. in chat who's out of the loop, once you do this focus, it does give you 100. So you have a lot less of a hard time being able to stop Logi striking, which is really important on this map. Yeah, we've seen it literally. It, Leonard gave up yesterday after what, like, <laughs> literally a week, seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds of logistic <laughs> bombing, and all his trains were gone. That would probably not have happened with armor trains, uh, at least probably not with would hundreds. Take a lot longer. Yeah. Uh, so either way, it, it, going that path would be an interesting one, and you did tell College about this, so there's a chance. Mm -hmm. It could be in the back of his head. Maybe he should. I mean, you could look right now. The, the amount of divisions, the raw count when you do armed local militias in the center of the path, you get five 12 wits, and then you can get motorized to the left of it. So you you, you do get everything you need for early game. The problem is that if you're doing an early game faction and you're picking it into a country that you know is probably going to go to the U.S. again and just wait until he eventually gets such a high production cap, he just runs at you until you bleed dry. 100%. It's, it's going to be really interesting to see that. Let's see what CMOPS is doing over on his side, setting up the naval invasion orders for Tripoli and... Malta, again, the failsafe in case the paratroopers don't make it there. Has he even, like, looked at... Uh, do, does he even... Has he invested into paratroopers? Do we know that? Does he have that? I believe he should have already started researching it from day he one. He is researching he is it. indeed researching it. Good. Yeah. So he's doing both things, which is the important thing to do. It separates mm -hmm. um, the good player from the very good player. Now, what I'm curious about is in the next maybe two, three focuses, sometimes players will pivot. It looks like he's only waiting for the new factories to come in to go straight into fighters, so very little cast. I feel like last game, that's what kind of kind of stole his chances of being able to actually contest him. 
He kind of just got mauled by college, just throwing casts at him. Yeah, well, it, aside from the heavy tank being encircled in the first like five minutes of combat, that that was a that was a tough one for him. But in this game, it it all comes down to who gets mauled first, and then you decide your strategy after that. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I, I'd say so. I feel like maybe him not going cast is an indication of what he's going, but I'm actually very uninformed on whether or not there's a path that gives you a lot of casts, aside from the JU87s you get, but those are under Germany. That no is correct. Shot. There's, there's no shot he's going for that if he's building the para, uh, or the, the transport <gasps> planes. Okay, okay. What if he goes for the most deep tech we've seen yet? What if he goes right side Germany? He goes fourth army. There's no way he does that. Nobody's done well, that so far. Show people who do not know. So I don't believe by this point in the tournament anybody's actually gone down this path. For reference, there are some focuses that I would say personally are not as high value as something like supplies from the sky. But if you notice, you get an obscene amount of small airframes from this path. I doubt it. I, there's no way he values getting a railway gun this much. But it would be very interesting to see in practice. I One hundred percent. Let's see what college is doing in the meantime. He is looks standard. Like, yeah, yeah, he's also standard. going just fighters. No cast. Not not one of them is going cast. That's. I don't know how I feel about that. That seems like very short-term benefit. Uh. Maybe they're tired. Maybe they want to end the game quickly. <laughs> because one thing I have noticed on CMOPS is that he has actually, unironically, queued up six two with motorized divisions. That what other way could you utilize this than just landing somewhere and just, or maybe just grabbing oh, territory in the beginning? The naval invasion order already. That uh, orange one is that that has units assigned, perhaps. Maybe yeah, if we have some the army slow, group. Some a, a little bit of infantry right there yeah, assigned two already. Two are assigned. What could he be doing? Do you think he's gonna try to do the devious stealing of Benghazi on this. What? I think he's going to go there with the two-width motorized drive in there, Tokyo Drift style. He's not going to be fast enough, though. If College also has, because he, regardless of what focus he goes, he should get a light tank division or a motorized division. I, I honestly would be inclined to say that if you have no one contesting Libya early on in the game, that you can and are able to just paradrop directly into Malta like we've seen other players do, and then you paradrop from the airport in Malta straight to Benghazi. That would be very risky because uh, let's say that while you're doing that, he lands, uh, like he lands here, and you then click right as he's in Benghazi, then you lose your paratrooper. You no longer have anything on Malta, and then he can paradrop Malta. See, but maybe he has that dog in him in this one. Maybe he is that guy. I, I don't want to be that guy, but uh, <laughs> you are that guy, and you lost all your games. That's so incorrect. That's, that's factually <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> but, yeah, let's actually have a look at what college is doing and how he's looking. Does, he, does that look like can a man who's confident to you? Oh, look at the confidence on his face right now. He is locked and loaded to get this epic victory royale. Oh, my gosh. You see the man walking down the street like with that much confidence? I honestly just get intimidated looking at him. 100%. Like, he, he looks like he is in the game right now. <laughs> the great thinkers, Aristotle. Yeah. Like, that That looks like he, he knows what he's doing. And he's just selected. There it is from CMUPS, the... Ah, Italians he is indeed he copying. Yes, okay. Going for the Italians. We know now. Now it's just depending on which side does he go. There's no way he doesn't go for the battleships, right? He has to go. What for does the, the right side Italy even give you, aside from just like uh, naval hit chance? You get col oh, oh my god, 10% coastal forts. Pog. <laughs> That's massive. And the motorized division. And a little bit of dip speed, doesn't it? Dip mean? speed could be good, yeah. I mean, naval hit chance, I don't I, know if that right, actually hear matters. Out. Hear me out. Bold strategy. Even though it doesn't give a mobile warfare bonus, what if he theoretically went down Italy, right? Then gets that 10% motorization speed, or division speed. Then he gets the spirit, which is another 5. And then mobile warfare, another 10. And he's zooming around at Mach 15. He could bust out the devious tech. He could definitely be doing that. But let's have a look at what College is doing in the meantime. Let's see what he's picked. He is going. We've got a completely... We, I don't think we've seen this setup before. I don't think we've seen this matchup before. Mm, he's he's maybe, doing it. Will he go for it? Now, this is the big moment here. Because while I did advocate for right side Soviets in this game, he has told me before that he was considering going left side. Just by virtue of how you need so many fewer divisions as opposed to something like Ryan, you can get value out of those two focuses for the heavy tanks. 100%. so long. I, oh my god, if he doesn't get his supply situation in tip-top shape, those heavy tanks are going to pull up and immediately run out of fuel. I don't, um, this is risky. I like this. It is definitely a very high-octane Chad energy build. Yeah, and again, it also requires that he has to put 
a decent amount of factories on that, even though he gets the bonus. You got to do it early, yeah, too. Yeah, do it early. He has to sack basically all of his cast production, and then you're using heavy tanks that are, what, 24 IC each, and if they get cast and you lose, what, 5% strength? That's gone. Weeks of production. Got to remember as well as combat in the desert, so you take 50% attrition regardless. That's of true. Of that. That's uh. a lot of stuff to that. But it's going to be interesting to see what path that he picks. Same with the Italians. I, again, because we have not seen this matchup before. We saw the Italians uh, yesterday on uh, the match down here, or was it earlier today? I can't, I'm getting the games mixed up. Everything's becoming right a fever now. dream. I don't remember where I am. <laughs> uh, oh, he's going left side Italy for the oh, battleships. Daring for today, the are we? At least we know college needs to power drop. He needs to go for Blood of Berlin. He has to. <laughs> I, I honestly think college in his mind, the great mind, no less, is thinking about just a, completely ignoring Malta. I think he might there just do that. He went right side. Oh, my God. He is going for it. Oh, my God. There's no way. He is that guy. He's that guy. Okay. You, so, so again, it, do you want to make a little bet? Okay. All Five right. bucks says CMOPS makes it first. Do you, you want to take that? Okay. But, see, I don't know if college is going <laughs> to – I don't know <laughs> if he's going to do the classic not micro. So, hmm. Yeah, the classic micro. What micro would that be? <laughs> Where he doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. We'll see. We'll see. But he he, he won't be getting airport? it with the... He, yeah, he did build the airport, so he's ready. <gasps> he's going forward. This is the first time we'll see college. I, I don't think he's... He has not done this before, right? I don't, I don't believe I've seen a single instance of him doing this. So for people who are out of the loop, basically the essence of what happens here is that in a normal game... Both players will naval invade straight from Malta because each can get the supremacy that they need, depending on the country paths, of course, but usually they can. And the, by proxy, the Axis player will paradrop from Algeria and Flemkin all the way over to Tunisia, and then from Tunisia all the way into Malta. But just because of how the air zones work out, you could just get there far quicker if you're Axis. However, College can just block the air zone from Arsamutra and by definition get there faster. But you need to have hands and we don't know what's going on. These players are tired. They're quaking in their boots. We don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to be honest with you. What do you think is going to go on, Bo? I think that College may have snuck in an energy drink. You, you know how he was talking about earlier this morning? <laughs> he, he grabbed the Coke out of the fridge and he was like, I, I, I kind of want this. And then he was like, no, I got to save my caffeine for later. Wait. I think he saved it. What if he has the Kool-Aid buff? He did make Kool-Aid yesterday. Yeah, but he, he offered it to CMOPs as well. Yeah. Oh, no. He's getting the American buff. He's using a PED in a live game. I can't believe this. Stunning. Let's see if he goes for the vertebra after that, because then we know by... Oh, my gosh. By, if he one clicks focus it, away. If he clicks that button, we know what he's doing. We know, and we've confirmed that I'm college right is now. going this to is do so it. Close. Actually, I'm going to do it from his po POV if he does it. We want to see if he's doing it. He has not oh selected that focus yet. Oh, he built a port that's closer to Giga Chad. No way. But but he's not he's not getting the supremacy. No, though. that's that's besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> that's besides the point. We're not going to address the fact that he does not have enough ships. That's I mean, maybe he could day one launch, right? Sometimes it launches and sometimes it doesn't. I, I, judging from how Leonard's performance handled yesterday, I don't believe that's going to happen. Okay, theoretically, right? What is like the one in one hundred chance that CMOPS' ships just spontaneously combust in port? And then he just doesn't have any supremacy projection. That could happen, right? I mean, they're Italian ships. Anything can happen to those. <laughs> <laughs> they could go run. They could run aground right now. Right now, yeah. Uh, How but much time is there? Let's see. He has picked the Vodava. He is days. going in. We got okay. 47. Oh. Let's check. What is CMOPS doing? Let's quickly consult with the sacred text. And CMOPS is doing tankettes. He's going down to the fleet with three battleships. But wait, does he have enough time? There's 17 days left for that focus. And the next one after that is 35. So... 52 days. He's actually behind. Wait, college could actually launch the naval invasion. Wait, what is the ship count right now? What's the raw ship count difference between both of them? Well, CMOPS is sitting at around 15. 15, yeah. Oh, my God. They have the identical ship count. No way, CMOPS just absolutely is. He is throwing this game right now. There's no way. I, I uh, Surely I must be misunderstanding, no? He has nine days, 35. Let's do some basic counting. That's 54, and there's 35. Right? This, I, I, there's no way I'm messing that basic math up. Did yeah, he, he threw. Is it because he went for those? Uh, he, he went for the, as, he as went far as I can see. He went for the planes instead of the tankettes first. So therefore, he doesn't get Why? the fleet. And therefore, because he could, ju he's building planes as well. He could have just gotten that air supremacy regardless. But I, I, oh my god. Okay, you know everything's fine. I think uh, CMOPS bros, uh, you could take a nice deep breath because this is all part of his master plan. I can confirm. Uh, master tactician here. He's just doing something that none of us have even conceived before. That is true, but he's already launched it, and he, I assume it's the motorized is going to take as much territory as quick as possible. He's going to follow up with infantry. We got the paratroopers so. going in, and the naval invasion coming in. What is college planning? He has got his 
Hang on, let me just swap over. He has got the naval invasion, the paratroop. He has not set up the paratroopers yet. It is coming in, though. And it's a Verde Verde division, so I assume it might be. It's a bigger paratrooper division than Simo. So if they both land on it, yeah. that means there might be a battle, and he See, has a chance to win. Here's the thing. College actually has, like, roughly speaking, 20% less intel on him. And so he could have a, a situation where he just doesn't have enough supremacy, barely. Just because he gets the intel reduction penalty. 100% on that one. Oh my but god, this is going to be very... <laughs> I think it's going to be a very jank opening for both our players. They're very tired. Their hands are slowing down. They don't know what's going on. So, But, but seeing even if Seamups lands first, I still think College has a chance because he's the bigger paratrooper. I, what I is think his combat so. with on that paratrooper? It's uh, 12th with, right? No, it's... It's 18, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's an 18 with recon. That's a big boy. Theoretically... I mean, college is blocking the air zone. I guess the real question is is whether or not college A has enough hands to be able to micro the divisions because they're not on the airport for reference, everyone is not directly on Benghazi. You have to land off the tile to the side of it. We will then. swap over to college here. Oh, 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 oh. Is he doing it? Oh my god, 500 APM movement here. Like, oh, what we are go we're going to watch it from college's perspective because we know Seamops can do it. We'll keep an eye on and see if he lands on the tiles there. But I want to see if he has the hands to do this. Uh, he's, if he does this, it's going to be interesting. He forgot to give the trait to his general that reduces enemy casts uh, in battle by 50%. He completely forgot. Well, which general? Oh, yeah, that's true. He's got yeah, this. Knitsov is really good at being able to, to kind of hemorrhage. But he I can still do it. with cast, though, not yet at least. But I either way, I don't think Seamops has any cast right now. So make, it's make not a prediction make it right, now. right now. Do you think he's going to have enough? Who, who do you think is going to have a supremacy? Assuming that they both don't just day one naval invasion launch, what do you think is going to happen? Is there a chance that they could both block each other? Theoretically. And here we have it. He's gotten the paratrooper. Both players have gotten their paratroopers. Have they both landed? They it's have neck both neck landed, right, yeah. It's a race to the clock. Now, let me quickly check in on Seamops. Does he have enough air superiority? I'm F3. He does not have it. Everyone, look. Look. Oh, and now it's contested air. It's going both ways. Now he has green air. A lot of action, a lot of excitement. Seamops is getting... Oh, wait, really? How did college not get there in time, huh? The hands. Oh my gosh, the barn is running away yet again. <laughs> and at the same time, college's naval invasions did not go off. So you were right on the intel prediction. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's not looking good. And there's the first naval battle of the game. Are they committing? Neither has a naval commander. Uh, Ed College has a small positioning advantage. However, he, both of them have just no stats whatsoever. And so he's just running away. 100% running good. away. Is Seamops moving in divisions to... He's got five paratroopers that are sitting all the way back in Plemkin. I guess he wanted to save time and just get to it with just one division. Already moving three infantry in as well. So that means College is Let's probably college. going to have a hard time on taking back oh. Malta. <gasps> okay. Now the question here, right? Yep. So college is playing an early game faction, right? 100%. And the early game has gone absolutely terrible so far. So what do you do now is the question. Well, Not I would... Not focus. He still has the advantage that his planes are cheaper to produce at the end of the day. 10%. He's still making small airframes. I suppose he is aware that he will receive 100 casts of ILs. Meanwhile, on the flip side, CMOPS is sitting on roughly eight divisions that he could get out at a moment's notice. But is he making casts? And he has casts produced... But he has absolutely no efficiency, no factories assigned. Okay, theoretically, if we were a betting man, what's to say college can't just run through the center while he has a cast advantage? Well, he could do that if he wanted to. But either way, he's also trying to go for a naval invasion right now off Malta. It's actually heading out right he's now. He's doing the he same thing he did before, but he doesn't have the naval supremacy. He's just going to get rid on the way like what's happening right now. Look, he's yeah, just but getting... Yeah, I don't think Seamops has actually gotten any uh, hits in on it. So he's, he's still getting through, but we'll see what happens. I mean, he's not properly separating his fleet. So one of the convoys have already gotten intercepted while the other is ahead of it. So one of them has lost strength. As you can see right here, look. Yeah, they're, they're all, they're getting, all getting hit. But either way... I'm sure college will find something to come oh back with. Oh my gosh, he hasn't even started building the railroad yet. Oh, and he's out of sun. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, college bros. We need your prayers. Thoughts and prayers, please. It's okay, guys. I believe full heartedly college will find something oh. to come back with. Oh, there's your prayers. The prayers are coming through. He moved it up to the top. He did, in fact, move it up to the top. Let's see how he is handling it himself from his perspective to see if he's actually going on the 
at advance against CMOPs. It, it does not look like he's trying that right now. He's just trying to hold the line, maybe waiting for the is railway, I assume. Right. Is that showing 58 ships in that naval battle? What is going on there? It, it's the Italian oh, fleet. Oh, he's He made destroyers. No, he's destroyer raiding. I, I assume it's the Italian fleet that's in there. Okay, so we're just going to scratch Malta from the books. I don't see any world where he's able to do it, bar him having the most elite, incredibly good paratroopers, which I don't think we've actually seen. Has anyone actually done paratrooper spam onto Malta? No, I don't think that's it. I don't even think that's possible in terms of the... Well, he'd have to hit, like, a force I mean, attack immediately, right? It, Knitsov has commando, so while he has forgotten to do camouflage expert, it doesn't change the fact that he could just do paratroopers. Glider planes is really strong in vanilla, don't yeah, you know? Yeah, but that? he would still end with a very low more, uh, orc when he drops, so he'd have to hit immediately force attack. If memory serves me right, I'm pretty sure glider planes is like a static bonus as well to your organization on a para drop. I know it gives you more efficiency on the plane drops and better organization on the drop. <sighs> yeah, that's so copium. Yeah, that's copium. But let's have a look at what CMOPS is doing. Is he consolidating his gains? Because right now he does hold Gabes, Gabes, uh, and Malta. And I he's, he's doing it. the classic hold right here. He actually got the supply hub as well. It's not looking College too bros. hot right here. Uh, but College, again, if, he, if, if CMOPS does not go on the offensive, that means College will be able to build up supply and maybe challenge. Is he challenging in the air? No. CMOPS also has green air. Oh, no. So that oh, is no. very bad. Oh, no. College is wasting. If he doesn't if we have swap over here. He doesn't he, have air over the zone. Oh, he, no. He is wasting planes over uh, the, the central med, and at the same time, he does not have planes here. Oh, no. Seamoff's oh, going no. on the offensive Call as well. Bros, no. Completely out of supply. And you know how it works when you're out of supply and you're retreating. It takes a long He's time. He's got one thing in his advantage. If he para drops onto that southern tile, there is a division covering it. So we'll see if he actually does it. I don't know if he's launching for it because he's got the divisions assigned on the. Oh, wait. He's made a clas classic blunder. He put two divisions per para drop, so now he's absolutely baffled as to why it's not going. Yeah, it is not going because if you did not know out there in chat, you need 50 transport planes per uh, one division, regardless yes. of how big it is. It could, you could drop a 50 with it, you could drop a 2 with it. It's still 50. Mm -hmm. The weight of the division itself applies for convoys. Apparently, it does not apply for paratroopers and the actual weight of the division in a plane. I don't know when this was changed. It used to. but Yeah, yeah I remember it used to as well. Glider planes actually, glider planes reduce how many? Do you think that you could launch two divisions at once if you use glider planes? Not that the Italians Maybe. have access to it. Who knows? Uh, only college would be able to figure that one out. But he has figured out how to put planes up over the zone, so it's yellow air now he's instead. Learning. Not, he's learning. But it's not like CMOPS has any cast to put up anyway, so it's not giving him that big of an advantage. Uh, either way, he is getting pushed. If he gets pushed to that supply up, it is looking very grim he for college. He made a blunder. He, I don't know if you've noticed, but he made that port all the way into the western side of Marsa Mutra so that he could get to Malta faster. But he never actually made... Beyond that and the airport, a railroad to connect Alexandria to the front line. So now, not only did we have to wait for him to build up all the way to that port on the railroad, now he has to go even further and connect the railroad from Benghazi and Tobruk all the way to that supply hub. And his divisions are just starving to this. He's losing so much momentum on an early game faction, by the way. He's running out of time. Maybe that railway gun's going to be the hero of the day. Perhaps. <laughs> Who knows if that's copium or not. Uh, but it, either, either way, the, the, the big disadvantage for the Soviets, obviously, is that you do not get a navy. So the navy war has already been decided, which means Simos can just place his battleships all along the coast as well. Get that really good bonus on Shaw and Bottom. What is he getting in these battles? That oh, only two and a half Massive, percent. absolutely Massive. gargantuan. I think Massive. this game's over. We might as well call it here. <laughs> but uh, we, if he put his entire navy there, it might be better. Or he more might go from two and a half percent. To 7%. Who knows? Uh, either way, keeping up the pressure, which he doesn't oh, no. even have to. Oh, I, I don't even think you caught what he just did. College is out of supply, and his divisions are already unbelievably under strength, and he's now force attacking and using the very little stockpile that he has left. College bros, please. No, this is not how it's supposed to be going. Wait, does he even have a stockpile of equipment? I'm consulting the sacred... Oh, my God, he's 2K infantry equipment in the hall. Okay, maybe. <laughs> and meanwhile, CMOPS is very good on equipment <laughs> at the same <laughs> time. No, 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 no. He could still bring it back, though. The manpower, though, situation, I think that maybe they both learned. No, not, not on this map. It's I not the same uh, problem. Uh, uh, wait, let me just check his industry. Maybe there's something in here that can change things. He has five on infantry equipment and 20 on planes. Yeah, no, 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 is, that no, number, no. is that number ticking, then? Is that what we're going to be looking at? No, is it just not. ticking up? He has, I don't even think he's making... Oh, God, it, it's ticking a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, college, please, bro. No. Yeah, that's ticking by like almost a hundred each time. Um, he, he's about to lose every single one of his divisions. Is, is it actually? Are they? How fast are they retreating? 
No, 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 no. no. Oh, as soon as Simops' su supply much. hub connects after they regauge the railroad, he's not going to have any supply past Benghazi's mountain tile. So now he's getting pushed all the way back. He has nothing in the way of cast to counter it aside from the 100 from the focus, and Simops is going very heavy into air. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Simops now, if he wants to keep up the pressure as well, he's going to have to build a port here, because I learned that in a test game earlier today, that it, it, once you reach these areas here and you don't have a port here, you're just going to run out of supply, because the, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, the range of the supply hub is not enough. So e if he really wants to keep it up... Motorization? Does Simops actually have anything on motorization? Let's take uh, he's no look. longer building motorized, but he does have some isn't remaining. Wow, he isn't. He has 300. I don't know if that's enough for the amount of division. See, here's the really interesting part. As far as I'm concerned, neither of them are actually putting that many on infantry equipment. And while I understand just by the nature of this map, you have less sieves to make more mules, it would still stand to reason that you should at least have something like 10 factories on, on infantry equipment. For reference, by the way, for everyone in chat, both of them are over a thousand guns in the hole, which on face value doesn't seem that bad. But in vanilla combat, where you're dealing with absolutely insane strength losses it's not worth it your divisions will almost immediately get strength popped so i don't even know what's going to happen here because cmops is now starting to be a little hyper aggro but maybe he's going for that kill maybe he doesn't want to make the same mistake he made in the other game yeah Perhaps. where he where he lost the momentum very early on but that was actually because he was trying to be aggressive so you think so yeah, yeah i think that was because he moved in that heavy tank which he granted he should be doing and at this point he could uh, <laughs> the most the most common strategy on this map is that when you get Maltas, the axis you sit back around tripoli you hold the airfield you hold the supply hub you got and then you, you sit there is he just going to sit there and hold this supply hub now Probably. is he going to push yeah yeah i think he's but i mean at the same time with the point you made about him not uh, being too aggressive as a 100% win rate player myself, I actually think he didn't be wasn't aggressive enough. That's true. But if college can manage to get greener, I don't know if that's copium from me. Does if he it happens, have supply on the air base? Let me quickly check. There's honestly a very good chance of how many divisions are over in this area. They're taking an efficiency penalty. Yeah, yeah. Minus 36% from air bases insufficient. In, uh, air, yeah, I'm having a stroke. Air bases insufficient supply. Yeah, if he managed to somehow scrape out that air supremacy, which he, he is it, he is he's got yellow air right now. What do paratroopers know. need to launch again? Is it fifty or sixty? Uh, I believe it's. That's a, you know what? That's a great question. Seventy percent. If he gets it to seventy percent, okay. somehow manages to get it to seventy percent, then he can encircle because Simon has nothing behind this. He, he could get the entire army. He could, but for reference, if you guys want to see how dire the position is for college right now, let me just quickly show you. His divisions are down to forty percent strength, and they don't even have enough to just get the support company artillery. And by the way, to make things even worse, college does not have enough trucks to meet a stockpile, and he has never taken the moment to realize that by motorizing the hub, he is making the situation even worse. So as far as I'm concerned. These divisions down here are going to keep pushing, and even if college somehow finds a way to counteract it, maybe make a new line here on Benghazi's mountains, then I just, <laughs> then he's playing from so behind, and I just don't see it. I feel like right now he's in a very trepidatious position. He could still bring it back. College Bros and stocks have gone up tremendously off of him being able to get miracle comebacks. He's done it twice now, so he might have that devious lick upcoming soon. Absolutely, but as we see, Seamups continuing to push in. College doesn't seem to prepare any kind of response other than the power drop. Seamops is just, it's like a machine at this point. He's, Consolidate, he's just, maybe? He's just press the, press the advance button at this I, point. I, I mean, if college consolidates the divisions, builds a couple land forts, I mean, he's going far more into air than Seamops was. If I'm not mistaken, he should be at 20 factories. No, he actually went down. He went down on the plane count. He can't afford it because yeah. of Malta. Yeah, so let's see what CMOPS is doing. CMOPS is at 17 factories, and college is at 1.48 a day. So if there, he's down by about a third of a plane a day. So CMOPS will continue to outscale him, and he doesn't have any way of being able to get naval supremacy. He actually will not outscale him because college does have the advantage of minus 15% planes, which CMOPS does not have. Well, this is assuming that he's actually able to get enough factories, and right now it looks like he's about to lose a lot more. It does look like it, but more. we've seen a lot of plays in this game, so anything is possible true, in this true. situation right now. And as Seamops is pushing in, he's just realized that he's going to be in low supply right here. Wait. So he's already pulled back to this, which means that College has got a consolidated line here because Seamops is going to have a very hard time pushing can, in. Can you explain to me in, in rational terms why College would believe it's not worth it to get the 100 free cast when he's getting pushed in by infantry? Can you explain that to me? I must be missing something. Again, surely. what happens in these kind of scenarios is that th there's a lot of 
of pressure going on when you're on the stage. You saw it from us too as well. We mm. were under a lot of pressure. We didn't perform. Incorrect. Usually I performed. You, you definitely did not perform. And so uh, the, the, the pressure gets to you. College has not seen the cast, and uh, he's just going for the sieves instead, trying to probably convert or build more mills. And that's probably the reason behind it. He's not thinking rationally here. Or the railway gun, which could buff his bonus, uh, give him like a 15% in combat. He gets the 20th motorized division. He needs well, infantry. He, All of his infantry are absolutely starving for equipment. This could be done afterwards, but maybe he's scared that Seamups is doing it and getting the advantage over him, which Seamups is he actually is, doing. He doesn't have a choice. He's being pigeonholed into either getting divisions and holding a line, or he gets factories and then plays for the long con in a faction that is not designed to play for the long con. Definitely not, but he has to do something to try and keep up with it because at this point, he's already lost the early game. He has to try and play for the I late game. I think there now. was an early <laughs> game, to be completely honest. I didn't see one. The, the, well, we, we witnessed one, and there was a lot of casualties uh, on, on, I was going to say, both sides, but only uh, one side. What, what could have possibly happened at the start where he was not able to get his divisions quickly enough into Malta to be able to land before he did? Because he did have the air up. He See, definitely Mops, did. was at a disadvantage. Oh, my God. What do you think the odds were that he ended up moving the airplanes from Marsa Mutra into Benghazi, and while they were transferring over, they didn't project supply or strength? And that's why he was able to get that moment. It, well, we were watching him, and he didn't even set up plans for the paratroopers. Oh, my God. College bros, please. So, th again, that's what we're talking about. It requires it, – it's not as easy as it sounds just taking uh, people, f uh, paratroopers, from this one to this one and then to this one. It, 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 from my experience, it can also be very hard to hit multi just, like, clicking it, honestly. Yeah, you're moving in a lot of divisions at the same time. And as the allied player in particular, while the Axis are forced to clean up a lot more tiles in the form of Algeria and Tunis – does not change the fact that you still have to set up all of your industry in terms of railroad setups, being able to re-gauge them, set up your air, do the paratroopers. It's a lot to do at the same time. And now you see he actually he's going for the cast now. He, he it's almost like you spoke to him. Interesting. His college bro player prayers may just be making their way to him. He might actually have that guy in him, but right now it looks very unlikely for a strong recovery. He is the miracle master. He could whip out one more in this game. Slowly making a grind into the air war. Is he winning? He is actually technically winning the air war, killing <laughs> We're at ten, that stage now. T ten fighters <laughs> more than Seamus. We're looking at any advantage he can gain at this point. Also winning battles against Seamus. Seamus trying to push in there, but as I said, it's very hard to push this area once you reach. Even if he's not even reached the really hard uh, bit yet, because well. Technically, there's a mountain tile immediately right yeah, in front there. is a, a pretty easy to hold. There's that one valley, but then you'd have to make an egregious mistake to lose Benghazi. 100%. And that's why technically anything can happen. Because Seamops is not garrisoning behind himself. Is he even built? He's not even building a port. I, I like, theoretically, if college got enough paratroopers, dropped... Again, I'll just swap quickly. And he, he could drop in all these tiles right here. And that would take a long time for Seamops to get back to. And college could okay. sweep okay. the whole thing. Hear me out. What if, what if college, and mind you, he's been very risk averse thus far. He could, with enough effort, let's see if he has enough. He's got 30 oh. aluminum in the bank. So hear me out, college bros, okay? What if, basically, he just stops producing all of his basic equipment, right? He goes, he doubles down on the air war. He gets enough planes by the end of the game. Also, by the way, Seamops is landing, is starting the naval invasion. We'll get to that later. <laughs> if he goes all in on air, gets green air, and then like 20 seconds before the game's over, he just lands on Gabus. Thoughts? That, I, that, that, <laughs> Thoughts? That would, that would totally work. <laughs> that would be very, very there spicy. There are divisions there. It would work. There, I mean, the, theoretically, college would not do such a, a foolish mistake as to not have Marsa Mutra be covered. Uh, Okay, he doesn't have it. Now, now, it would be very spicy, but there is one interesting thing to note about Seamops' naval invasion he's doing right now. College has all of these sea tiles blocked off, so if Seamops lands in this tile, it cuts off oh, every no. single supply. I, I don't think supply. it's a if he will. It, he will. <laughs> when this division lands, there's local supply. Oh, he made oh it in. Gosh. There it is. That's the play. That's actually hands. He's got hands oh after all. Oh, my gosh. He does. It only took him 20 proud. minutes. He's coming in clutch. And is it actually a good division? If He, he should have landed in two tiles, honestly. Yeah, that would have done it. That's a mistake that everyone's been making thus yeah. far. But either way, Seamops trying to get that final, like, death punch in early on college. Because this would, in theory, have cut off all the supply for all of these units because I college does not have naval supremacy. Do you think there's a, a specific reason why he didn't go for the tile west of El Alamein or even El Alamein itself? I felt like it would have been fairly easy for him to 
buy extra time because you see how he only had to cross two tiles over. If he goes one more, maybe they don't get in there in time with the strat redeploy. Maybe copium. I think the best strategy for Simos would have been to land in all three because then when he strat redeploys to this one, he gets, he gets caught yeah. and pinned and he can't move out of it and then he lands here. I, 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 I think the only play is for him to go heavy on air. Paratroopers right now, I'll be real. That's true, but either way, we're nit we're nitpicking on uh, Seamops right now because he is dominating this match right now. Like it was us talking about how he failed a naval invasion. Though, I that's mean, he, he, he's right now in the stage of creating his tent. He's just finding a suitable location to place it down. Pretty soon, he's gonna start setting up his tatami mat inside and take a nice long rest and just wait for college to just look how calm out. he is. Does that look like a calm man to you? Oh man, if I saw that on the streets, I think I'd turn the other way and run. You think you'd run? I think I'd run. Look at that. Look at that determination, that focus. You only very rarely see that in your life. That's true. I'm like, quaking right now thinking about it, honestly. Imagine, you, you're telling me right now if you saw that coming towards you on the street, you would not be absolutely shivering in your boots. I, mean, I would be. A lot of you guys can't see it on camera as well, but he is a very tall man. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and Golden's tall. He towers he, over he, me. He towers over he, him. He dominates me in-game, mentally and physically. I didn't, I've never been that stunned before in my life. Still honestly. beat him, though. You didn't. I did. I gave. I let him win. You lost every match. I, I let him win. Them. Either way, college is also here. Who is also looking a little more. Uh, it's a little like a little sweat coming off the forehead. There is. Is he starting to feel it? Is he starting to feel the pressure right the now? The Kool-Aid may be wearing off. It could I be. Maybe he needs another glass. <laughs> we can get one down to him right now and see if he levels up mid-game. Can we get? Can we get that for him? Uh, college bros, we, we need you all to petition and as many subs as possible to be able to deliver Kool-Aid to college. It's very important. But again, he is looking at his paratroopers right now. He's got him on the front line as well. Is that is that, is it that desperate he, that we're he's using gangsta on that? Like he, he's definitely using paratroopers on the front line. He's got twenty on fighters. I, I mean, how much is he making more compared to Seamops? Let me quickly. So, sorry, I'm I'm just gonna interrupt you again because Seamops is going again with a single division for another invasion. Oh, he's going uh, for Alamein this time. This Give time going for Alamein, but it's not gonna work unless College moves incredibly slow. But he's gonna get the alert and then. Is, there's no way Seamops, yeah, he's already moving. He, why, why did he not learn this? from his... He, I, 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 I respect the hustle, don't get me wrong, but like... Learn from your mistake, but again, it also puts pressure on college. Look at him, he's nervous right now. He is, he might actually be shaking. I think a really good indication of how the actual 1v1's going for anybody in chat who doesn't really know specifically, like, how the meta of this works by this point. If you look at the players' reactions and the faces that they make, I feel like many of them have been very emotive, me included. So as far as I'm concerned, you can just take a look at how they're doing. And as far as I'm concerned right now, I think College is really quaking in his boots. Do you think you get that impression off of how he's acting right now? Yeah, considering Seabob's also just crossed his arms. And <laughs> he's, really he's, set there. he's pitching a tent. He's just pitching a tent right there, getting the campfire up. He's just ready to just sit outside Benghazi. But again, I will say this and I will reiterate this. If somehow College managed to win the air war and drop paratroopers, if, if that happened, <laughs> if that happened and God was on his side, we would get a, have to get the last match as well. Also, oh, I didn't even realize that the in naval invasion he's doing is using the port garrison at Tripoli. There, there was an opportunity for him to have just para dropped onto Tripoli and just encircle him from like 30 miles away. Co college just... Do they have air? What's the air situation in Tripoli right now? Let's have a look at it. 50 50. He's 49 right now. 50 50. Killing the supplies. That uh, seems killing oh, supplies. Well. College bros, maybe those prayers are coming in clutch. Apparently, college is actually outgunning him. Yeah, but the supply from college oh, is no. not very good. No, he's up 40, 50 planes right now, and they're pretty even. If you look, by the way, I'm pretty sure Seamops is making 2.26, and he still has factories assigned. Not going to fighters, mind you. There's five more he'll put, but those will eventually go into cast. And college, if I'm not mistaken, is still outproducing. It's 2.27 a day to... That's a done. 2.36. Okay. That's... He's actually making fighters. He has a surplus of them. Okay, 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 the copium's yeah. coming in right now. Could could he be thinking okay. of paratroopers? Theoretically, w what if he... <laughs> it could be happening. Yeah, so he, he, he gets that commando for people who are out of the loop, right? Kuznetsov gets glider planes, all right? College grabs this, enables the ability, okay? AC-130s, it's like the COH-2 commander bulletin. Like, they'll fly around the zone and just one-shot all the encircled units. It'll be insane. Honestly, like, I, I, if he, if this, he needs to think this far. Do you think he's thinking this far? No, no, I don't <laughs> think he's thinking this far. <laughs> you no, know, he is very stressed as well. Obviously, does he have any paratroopers in production? Oh, no, no, no paratroopers oh, no, in college production. Bros. Oh no, C Mops bros are, <laughs> C Mops stocks are going up way high right now. As far as I'm concerned, he's not taking enough of a penalty on that supply, and he's got tankettes now. Oh no.
Not like this. Wait. Surely. Surely, surely he assigns us on fighters. I feel like this is going to be the very big make or break. What factory? No, come on, college. Pick a... F yes, you could do it. You could do it, my guy. <laughs> you, you could sign that factory. He's going to assign the it. factory. He, he, he's but he's scared of Seabox at the same time. He's not converting. Why? Dude, you're falling. Oh, my God. Okay, it's fine. fine. Let's calm down, Gold. Put it on infantry equipment. Oh, my God. No, we're going to have a look at Seamups in the meantime to calm down my co-caster, who is having a, a, a hard time coping with the fact that his man, that guy from Kent Micro side of Bon, is, is uh, trying to do his best to come back in the game. He will well, come he's back. Out, he's, he's, he's doing so well. He lost 105 to 22. He just put more... There's red air now. There's red air now. Call it, Call it. Please make paratroopers just launch them. Oh, my God. Wait, does he have... Sh Oh, there's he no has way. two of them. He could technically do it. He there's only nothing needs two. In there's nothing in College, please, for once in your life, check the port. Check the port. Check the port, College. Check the port. I, I need to show this. He look, has no scouts look, out. Look, it's wide open. There's everything here. He could just paradrop all of this. College, please. Oh, my God. For once in your life, please, just look at the port. Please, Bo, please. It's not looking good. I'm, I'm going to hold you for a little bit. I'm gonna hold you for a little bit, and then we're gonna have a look at what Seamoth is doing. If he's if he's even considering the fact that he's lost, yeah, he is, he's looking at the air. He's looking at the air. Is he training those planes? I, I, yeah, that I believe that's the is case. He's just guys? training the planes. He could put them up again if he wants to. Okay, okay, okay. Are, are you okay? He he's so confident in his naval supremacy. I don't think he's ever going to garrison Tripoli. If college gets the, it's at seventy percent, right? Wait, what? He has no supremacy right now. Is that is that right on your end? That's you that? this this is his end. No, like, look, uh, look, he's at 0% on, on my screen. Yeah, but it's, that's because he's training his planes. Oh my god, college, launch your name. Oh my god, college, please. No way, no way, no way, no way. No he has way. The, he's planning it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Oh he's my doing god. it. He's oh doing oh it. My. Let, let, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Newsflash, we gotta college bros are eating very well tonight. Stocks are skyrocketing. He's he, assigning he, it one person. He, he's, oh. scouting. he's scouting. He's assigning oh. it. He needs to launch. Launch. Come on, college. You can do this. Take triple E. Move it. And he needs to move in units immediately. No, but he's... You realize he's folding, right? Because he's not—he's not grabbing all of the tiles for free. He's only doing it on the port. No, 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 no. He should college. do. He should do a couple of. The airport, no, 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 no. There, there it is. There it is. There it is. The he needs to move you units. Move uh, units. Come on, college. You could do it. He's, he's got. landing only. On. No, but this isn't good. Because they're all going to strategy deploy back. He didn't. He didn't block off the railroad. No, he's going to get pinned in the port. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Oh, there it is. The pin. Are they going to strat redeploy? But they're still out of supply, Golden. That's worth noticing. Everything here on this front is out of supply. He should be pushing. He is pushing. There's the push. No, but it's coming in. It doesn't... Where are the two with paratroopers, Bo? He could just grab all of the... Golden, we need to we need to settle down because this is actually a magnificent play by him. Either way, he is doing last stand on it. He will not be able to supply it there. But will he be able to push fast enough on this? Look at that. He's... He <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he'll get there. No, no, no. He, he will get there. He will get there in time. He no, just needs no, to keep no, no, hitting no, no, no. last stand yeah, on these yeah, units. Yeah. Seamups does not have enough units to try and counter oh, this. I don't believe so. Look at the strength so. of the paratroopers. I, I, I am aware of the situation, but two of these divisions are actual good paratroopers. You've got to remember that. They actually have the strength to do it, and he is pushing in. You, you, you've got to give him the benefit of the doubt on this one. Okay, over under, he blows the port before he loses it. That would also be very good. Over under, right now. Do you think he's going to do it? Let's have a look if he's blown it already. He has not blown it. We're going to swap back to him. He is still, as long as he continues... <laughs> look at the as, them, the as, oh as my long God. as he continues to hit last stand on this, and he keeps up pressure here, no, this is his time. one... This is his... This is his one play okay, right here. Okay, listen. Here's the thing, right? I don't think this is going to work. However, as far as I'm concerned, he just did a remarkable proof of concept. So theoretically, right? What if he learns from his mistakes here, okay? Channel, channels in his inner Greek philosopher and just para drops properly this time. Theoretically, it could work. Theoretically, it could work. He could make it happen. He could make it happen, but let's see from his perspective Probably how the, the micro no. is going. The face is how it is, but he he's trying his hardest. He's trying to move <gasps> in there. He's, he's learning. He's learning. He's doing more paratrooper stuff. He is going to try his hardest to get in there and 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 do that what he can do. What what do you think is the over under on this? I think college stocks are cratering right now. Uh, I'd go so far as to say that we, we might see college bonds hit a 0% yield. I, 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 don't, I, don't see a, I don't see an over-under here. I, I just see only under. But that being said, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't change the fact he still is making more planes. Like, it is possible that he could still pair drop behind him. 
Yeah. So stand by what he said. Entirely. If he if he wins the air war and he, he's got green air right now, and if he somehow produces more paratroopers, which he is not at the moment. Do you think there's a reason why he's um, last standing there? You think? Do you think that? Wait. Theoretically, can you? If he para drops onto the tile, does that count as multi combat? It's Maybe. a defense, that right? Could, that could be it, yeah. And he is, look at it, he's planning to drop on the supply, which will cut off oh. everything here anyways from supplies. It could be, he, he needs to just keep working on the supply. He doesn't have to look for all opportunities. Is Seamops is, actually is making, garrisoning that? Is he making more paratroopers, you think? Uh, I don't believe so. Wait, let's have a look at the screen. No, he is not making any more paratroopers right now. He's making the comrades, which is a 10 width, which looks like he is Wait, scraping the barrel on that. he cast, doesn't he? Yeah, he does have cast in the area. And he has green area, and so he's not getting Wait, intercepted. Where is the cast? Did he? Oh no, 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 no. Wait, where is his? Did he... Wait, where? Yeah, where is it? Oh my God, he's only doing the cast focus now. That is a big misplay. I mean, I mean, uh, he, he, but but surely if he uses cast in the railway gun, right? Did he blow up Tripoli? Me check. Let's have a look here. Did he blow up Tripoli? No, did not blow Maybe? it up. No, no, nothing. It's fine. I mean, okay, hear me out, right? He spawns in the railway gun, he moves it to the front line, he gets new paratroopers out. Then, while they have red supply like they do right now, he paradrops on the tile behind. Because that's how that works, right? Yeah. If you drop on the tile behind, even while if you don't retreating. take the tile, yeah, yeah they insta-die, right? He needs to remember the El Alamein incident. <laughs> the hood classic. The hood classic. But that could be an opportunity for him to do it. And again, has Seamops learned from his mistake? He has learned from his mistake, but again, oh, well, look he, at the supply. He, he gets enough paratroopers, it's still possible, right? It's like it, he, The supply is just, awful. If he just drops the entire railway line. Wait, it, can you check his uh, construction queue? Are all the railroads damaged? He's building forts. Oh, he's actually preparing a backup plan. Is he expecting to be pushed? I mean, this. F I, you may be colleges. Okay. Wait, that the supplies fine. Wait, wait, his logistics are not looking good. Nope. How many trains does he have? Uh, <laughs> is he in a deficit of trains? He doesn't. He's not even making trains. Oh, no. And if college starts bombing it, that means we have nine minutes remaining on the clock right now, ladies and gentlemen. That means. If he gets the cast out, and you saw what happened to Leonard yesterday, if he puts up that cast with no, it, on the green air, let's well, just go on the green air. How much priority is that? Is that 70 or 65? 63. Okay, he puts up the extra fighters that he has in stockpile, right? The cast is coming out and, as well. And then he, he finishes Lodgy striking him with like, mm, give or take five minutes. If he insta-wipes the divisions while they're retreating, theoretically he could just bum rush. Because the whole re-gauge of the railroads in seven days in game time, I think. Yeah. And then, then, then all it comes down is to is... Wait, is, is that two-width motorized? Well, that is a two-width motorized... No, 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 he got a 15-width. He got a 15-width. That, that's not... And that won't even be killed if it gets hit. That actually has strength to be deleted. I think he got glider planes. Did he get glider planes? I think he got glider planes. I think that's exactly what he's going to go for. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he got glider planes. He's got it. What does that do? It's, does this... Yeah, it's the extra plane, 100%. He can launch two per plane. Does this mean it's going to happen? I mean, they're out of supply, right? Is he producing them? We've got paratroopers in production, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, wait, what width is that? No way. Is it, wait, Bro is Stocks. he doing the real one? College Bro Stocks oh, he's are doing the big coming ones. back. Oh my gosh, my bonds are paying very well today. That means if, if he's smart right now, Golden, he, will, he won't try and go for an encirclement, but he'll drop the railway. Wait, what's the penalty they're taking on the supply? He's attacked. Oh, they're taking a 25% penalty. He's doing 200 soft attack per tile. I actually, th wait, how long until he gets his railway gun? He's doing it right now. Wait, 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 wait. If he does, okay, Chain Breaker get, turns you communist. You get a 10% attack bonus for people who are out of the loop, and you get more division speed. If you do that and you do no step back, it's 20% attack and you get better recovery rate. He could do it, actually. He has seven and a half minutes to go, and that railway gun comes out in about, I'd say, two mi a minute and a half. If, if, if he does desperate defense with his tanks, right, and they run out of fuel, they go base one kilometer an hour, yes, right? Yes, they do, yeah. And so if he overruns the tank and just continues to plow through, he could just drive around with the motorized, yeah? 100%, but How much we command power? he's not attacking the southern tile, though. So How much command power does he have? He has 68. And if he wants to do last stand on that general again, it will cost him 30. He could do it one more time. He could do it two more times if it goes long and long enough. So it's all up to college. What will he do here? The railway gun not coming in yet. I think the pressure might have gotten to him a little bit because I think he's a focus behind right now. He I mean, might have he had something unselected. He's casting. Look, 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 it's 12 to 22. Is it happening? Is he? Oh, he's doing. Yeah, look, oh, at, look, look at, at the, the air fighters. Look, he is absolutely slaughtering Dude, the he's air force. He's killing him three to one. But he's not logic striking. 
He should be logic striking. I think he should be logic striking when he's this low on time. Oh, he oh, oh is he, is he doing both? In. He is logic striking. He is. I, I'm, I'm blind. I'm just blind. Cohen one coming back here again. I mean, he's got 33 casts left, and if I'm mistaken, I think Wait, it no. was Leonard who told me you need a minimum amount of planes. He didn't deploy his actual good oh, cast. No. God. no, 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 no. What's the, wait? Can he mouse over those planes again? What was the the cast damage that do? Well, uh. It that? doesn't even say. Well, I'll look at the blueprint. Hold on. You keep watching. I I'll look. keep watching. Either way, that's 100 casts that does some damage that he could utilize right now. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? So he's making casts. Wait, what? Is that right? Yeah, yeah he's making is... casts. It's his own cast. College is making one cast a day. What? How? What is his base production is insane. He is trying his hardest right now. Six minutes on the clock remaining with... He's just going all Ooh, in on cast. Those IL twos do ten attack. That's still okay. No, that's that's actually pretty good. And he's not utilizing them. That's a hundred cast. He's not it's utilizing. Fine. It's fine because they go into stockpile. No, they don't because he has a stack of cast here that's not reinforcing it. It goes into stockpile. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <they'll laughs> wait, I mean, is he getting planning bonus? Okay, yeah. Wait, wait. Why does he have four <gasps> percent enemy intel network? Oh no, he doesn't have planning bonus. Look, mouse over it right now. Look at college's planning bonus on the, the yeah, front but line. Yeah, I, I think in return. Uh, does it apply to not, the divisions? They, they, there? they don't have it either. Oh. None of them have it. So that means Simos does not have entrenchment as well. He's got one percent. But oh. like they 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 Dude, cancel each other out. It's still red supply. The tankette that he has on the front line that's doing the most soft attack while the other divisions are taking the the org damage. I don't want to be that guy, but he. I think that his final play will be dropping actual good paratroopers onto what, multi. How many divisions are on there? Let me see. There There's are, only three oh divisions God. on there. No way. Wait, he's like two divisions of the paratroopers. He's not gonna launch. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 the, no. Wait, 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 wait. How big is this division? How good is this? What's the template? He, it's 12 wit! Oh, my God. And if Kaj then force attacks when he lands? If he, if, no, but seriously, like, all, all jokes aside, if he actually puts up the cast and he puts it over that zone, it's going to do so much damage. But, but the only problem is they're still green, so they get a minus 25%. No, but, but it's fine. Oh, my God. The infantry are also 12 width on the Malta. Oh, my God. He could do it. He How could many do it. He, he could do it. Four minutes remaining. Is he still producing more? No, he's not doing any more. He's not doing any more. Wait, he's out of supply completely, by the way. Seabops is out of trains, utterly. How much time does he have? Four minutes? Oh my god. Yeah, but, but the, the thing with Seamops is, remember, he can get supply from the ports if there's ports nearby. Is he building a port, though, to try and get it? He, he does cause no. us to have enough special forces cap. He has to do it with two. Do you think that he has enough strength on his divisions? Is that what he's waiting for right now, to get more strength? I, I, I Wait, think what so. What does he need? But, Wait, he needs... Surely, it's not that much of a strength loss by not having 20... You lose 7% strength for not having 10 support equipment? 7? That's it, but... Again, I think that it's going to come down to this modifier, because you know how much these modifiers do to divisions. 25%. I think that's just mainly the cast. If he, if he pair drops in... And survives for long enough. And he gets the right combat tactic, do you think he's going to be able to think... He's so already doing it. He's already trying to... Oh, no. He mo he's moved the cast? Oh, no. I, I think he needs to pick a tactic. If he does a preferred tactic and grabs one that Roosters is with, I don't but know has if he, he done has that? one. No, he doesn't have access to a single no. one that reduces the attack to weight. If, imagine if he pair dropped and he had like guerrilla tactics, and it was only one division versus one division. Oh, that would be mental, literally mental. He would, he would, he might actually cheese that win okay. out of Malta. I, I will give it a raw 50-50. He needs to drop. If if he uses glider planes and drops, I think it's a raw 50-50. If 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 he does not put more divisions in Malta. He that doesn't have anything else that can get there, and College could suicide the fleet. And just pin him. Yeah. He, he, he has a chance. Launch. But he, he needs to launch because this battle needs to last some time. Because it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. He needs... Come on, college. Press I, the button. He is doubting. Hang on. What's his What's his view? What's his view? He is... He is no. No. Oh, no. 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 He, he's missing 2%. No. Wait. No. Is it going? 70. Oh. 70. Launch. Press the button. Why did you not have the button? Press Press the button. button. What are you doing, man? There it is! Uh, no way. No way. Call it's out! Bros. It's the battle's on. The battle is on. Wait, what? He just paired up four divisions. Oh, he had two more! Cosmos! Come on, you gotta hit. You gotta hit. He's force attacked! Okay, hang on. We, we'll do to our perspective. We'll do our perspective here so we can see the actual battle. He's casting this is it. 12. Okay, we got ticks. We've got dopamine. My dopamine is sky high. Look at that cat. The cast is ticking. Wait, oh, Seamoff is panicking. Look, <laughs> look at Seamoff's camera. He's, he's like, oh no, oh no, he's looking over at college. He, don't, he doesn't know what to think. Oh, the, the, their org is so low. If he doesn't, is he already last standing them or are they taking strength damage or org damage? No, he, he's, he's, uh, no, they're taking more damage. Look, 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 they're gonna die in the port. Oh no, oh no, Seamoff's. Oh, Mops Bros, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. How much time does he have? A minute 50? Okay. A minute 50. 
like, if they pick the right tactic. Oh my god! But the strength, the strength is not looking too hot on them though. Uh, it depends on how much. Paratrooper? Wait, can you theoretically can he swap the template of the paratroopers while they're in the battle? Is that allowed? Does the game rule allow you to do that? Like, As a, are you? I would call it an exploit. But so uh, he just turns circled and cut off from supply and cannot have their template changed. No, he needs to open up the C zone. Open up the C zone. Change the template. Sadly, that is the play, and I believe. Look at College's face. I think he knows it is over. No, no, no. No, 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 no. It's the division. Look at the strength damage, damage, bro. But it was, bring it back. No. It was a beautiful play. I would say that is it. He's taking off his headset. I think that is it. He has no, called the GG. No, he can still bring it back, though. Surely. Yeah. yeah. I believe that is it. So no. what? That that was. No. I I will say that was one hell of an ending to one hell of a tournament right there. What, what what's your thoughts on that last battle? I feel I feel empty inside. I actually thought he was going to come back. I thought he was going to be the first third time that he's going to get a miracle comeback there. College stocks were genuinely they, on they, the <laughs> they they they, <laughs> they quintupled in value again. That was a quick pump and dump of the stock right there for a second <laughs> right there. Someone definitely did <laughs> did do something right there. But that was a very good match to end on, I think. We got a little bit of everything, but I think we proved that maybe the navy matters a lot on this map. You think so? I think so, because College had no chance of doing anything. He had complete I mean, supremacy Benghazi to do whatever he wants. The drop he could have done. I feel as if if he had enough of like two with paratroopers instead of going for eighteen, he could have just absolutely caked the entire section. And by the time they are pushing in, if he had the hundred casts yeah. up from the focus. That's good. But either way, I'd say this has been a fantastic tournament so far, and I, I don't know how to say it, but. Uh, Thanks for you to join uh, in for the last one here. Did you like casting? That was great. Fantastic. All right. And with that, thanks to all you guys for watching out here. It's been an absolute joy casting. Uh, I think everyone wants to do it again at some point. Mm -hmm. So, And with that, back to the studio. <sighs> wow. Ladies, gentlemen, generals of all caliber, we are here at the end of Commanders in Conflict. We have got one thing left to do. And that is to crown our commander of this event. What a fantastic series we've had. But I'm going to welcome him on over. Come on, CMOPs. Come on over. <sighs> a round of applause. <laughs> a single clap from Tommy over the thing. But CMOPs, you are our commander in conflict champion. How does it feel? Um, I'm happy. <laughs> uh, after the, the, the third game, yeah, after the third game, I I, I don't know, I, I thought, of, okay, because he said like he had a different strategy. It was really good. Um, I would have lost if the game would have went on for a bit longer because I was losing the air completely. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Well, <laughs> you should be happy as you have come from the very bottom all the way to here. You didn't make it to the end of the last tournament, but you have made it to the very end of this one. We do have something something for you as our commander. I think I might accidentally unplug my headset if I do this, so if I could have a lovely assistant hand, hand me these to give to you. You have this wonderful poster proving your success and, of course, can you see a it? Uh, a lovely, zoom in a bit. A oh, lovely bottle of champagne, but please <laughs> don't open that in the studio. Oh, but well. there we have it. CMOPS is our champion. Do you have Thank you. any final words here today? Um, um, very important. Greetings to everyone in chat that's where has been supporting me. Greetings to Yannick, uh, Burrito, uh, Yono, Jimmy, and uh, Marco. And thanks again to Zisa for the um, ship templates. Um, uh, yeah. Thanks for making so much uh, noise in the chat. I really appreciate it. I watched the uh, watts. I maybe can't see it when I, while I'm playing, but I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. So the proof is going to be in the pudding here. Let's take a look at that bracket one last time. There it is, CMOPS. Look at your name right up at the top on that card there. Again, congratulations. College gave it the old college try. It was a fantastic showing from him nonetheless. Please, everybody, also give a well done to College in the chat as well. But CMOPS, thank you so much. And friends, I guess without further ado, there is just one more thing. And that is to thank you all at home 
for watching. Thank you to everyone who's been playing this weekend as well. Big shout out as well to our mod developers. We had Feather, we had Void Templar, we had Professional Horse. I also want to shout out to Leonard as well, one of our players who kept performing hot fixes as the weekend went on. Uh, to Black Molly Studios, uh, Black, Mo uh, Black Molly Entertainment. I'm forgetting all my words because everybody <laughs> is appearing behind me. Everyone, we have had such a wonderful time. This has been Speed 5's Commanders in Conflict Season 1, and we hope to see you sometime in the future. But for now, goodbye, everybody.